Hi, it's Mrs. Canfield, and today we're going to learn about the number 100 by reading the story, Centipede's 100 Shoes. Ow! The little centipede was not looking where he was going, and he hurt his toe. But which one? Not this one or this one? Mom will know. I'll kiss it better, said Mom. Is it this one or 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 this one? At last, Mom found the hurt toe and kissed it better. Tomorrow, you must go and get some shoes, she said. Early the next morning, the little centipede's mom took him to the shoe store. One hundred shoes, please, said the little centipede. Fifty left ones and fifty right ones. Why do you want one hundred? asked the shoe seller. Because I'm a centipede, which means a hundred feet, said the little centipede. Do you want lace-ups or buckles? asked the shoe seller. Lace-ups, please, said the little centipede. Lace-ups up, lace are more grown up. So the little centipede tried on shoes until he found ones that he liked and the shoe salesman wrapped them up. The next day, the little centipede put on his shoes. It took a long time. Then he had to tie up all the laces. And when at last he had finished, he had 58 shoes left over. That's because most centipedes have only 42 legs, said his granddad. And then it was bedtime and time to start taking the shoes off again. The next morning, the little centipede put on his shoes again this time he was quicker and he was better at tying his laces. So after lunch, he went for a walk. Oh, mom, he cried. My new shoes hurt. That's because you have no socks on, said his mother. And the little centipede started to take off his shoes again. And his aunties all began to knit socks. The next morning, the little centipede put on all his socks. He had his lunch, then started to put on his shoes. Right after supper, he went for a walk. My feet feel fine now, Mom, he said. Time for bed, said his mother. So the little centipede took off his shoes and tumbled into bed. You can't go to sleep in your socks, said his mother. So he took off his socks as well. The next morning, the little centipede looked at all the shoes and socks. Oh, I don't think I'll bother, he sighed. So he put his 100 shoes and his 42 socks into his little wheelbarrow and gave them all to friends with fewer legs. He gave shoes to five spiders, four beetles, two woodlice, 
and the grasshopper, with socks for the five spiders. And with enough shoes and socks left for two worms. What a pair. Boys and girls, now that we've learned about the number 100, I want you to practice counting to 100. Can you count to 100 by ones? If you can, I want you to try counting to 100 by tens. If you can do that, practice counting to 100 by fives. And if you're really good at that, let's try skip counting to 100 by twos. Remember, subscribe to my YouTube channel for more educational activities. Check out my website, learnelementary.com, or connect with me on Instagram and Twitter at learnelementary.